sorry, uh, but a little emotional. Um, you know on Facebook how you get these live events that pop up? Usually, usually, they're awesome, they're great, and I love it. I'm glad, so glad Facebook does it. Because you get to relive some things, you get to see some things, and remember some things that maybe you've forgotten. And um, I had one today pop up. And it, um, it sucked. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting it. And it hit pretty hard. And it's this. That's me four years ago today, right after surgery where I had a foot of my colon removed because I had because I had a tumor the size of an apple. And shortly after this picture was taken, I learned that that tumor was stage four and that I had stage four colon cancer. This guy in this picture, he had no clue about the journey he was about to go on. He had no clue about the hell his body was about to go through and about what chemo was about to do to him. Had no clue. But what this guy had was faith. Faith in Jesus. Faith that Jesus was going to see him through it. Faith that Jesus was going to take care of him. Faith that Jesus can handle this and that he didn't have to worry about it. He had faith. I had faith. And that's a good reminder. Today was a good reminder of just how short and how precious life is and just what a gift life is. What a gift each day is. You see, you and I don't deserve tomorrow. But if we wake up tomorrow morning, that's always a big if. But if we wake up tomorrow morning, it's a gift from God. It's a gift from God. And we should be thankful and we should, we need to be treating each day as a gift from God, as a gift from God and be thankful. And I know we have just, I know we have crappy things that happen in our day. I mean, my God, all you got to do is turn on the news. It's full of it. But we should be thankful. And, and Jesus says to give thanks for all things. And if you watched my videos before, you know that I've thanked, I thank Jesus for allowing me to have cancer. I thank Jesus for allowing me to go through the living hell that I went through. I'm thankful for that, and I'm appreciative of that. Did I enjoy it? No, 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 no. But it's helped me, and it's made me a, a stronger person. And hopefully it's made me a better person. But there's so many things that have happened over the last four years that I just, you know, I didn't think much about. You know, I am I didn't think much about health, what's well, obvious, because look where I was. I didn't think much about it. I didn't think much about the way I ate and how I drank and the stuff I did. I really didn't. I just, you know, I exercised every once in a while. I, I ate whatever I wanted to eat. And, you know, I wasn't obese, so everything must be great, right? Everything must be fine. Well, no, that's not reality. Reality was that... Um, over the years, with the way I ate and the stuff I did, I wasn't doing drugs, don't worry, but just the how I was living my life, it wasn't healthy. And because my body wasn't healthy, cancer was able to grow, able to thrive, and uh, cancer almost took me out because of choices, because of choices that I made. And I remember this guy. And I remember being in the hospital bed, realizing that I never ever want to go through that ever again. I never want to experience what I experienced. I never want to go through that hell that I went through. And so then, even then, sitting in the hospital bed, I made a decision, I have to make changes. I have to do something. Um, because I want to, I want to be around 
for my kids. I want to be around for Jana, who, who just recently got married to a great guy. I love him to death. And and be there for Jesse uh, to one day when he when he's married and to be there for Hayden and to do things with him. I want to be around for all of that. And I wanted to enjoy it because each day is a gift from God. I wanted to enjoy each one, each moment I have with him. I wanted to enjoy it. And so I knew that I had to make changes. So yeah, I, I did make changes. I, I made changes in the way I eat and the stuff I did. And and I started exercising. And you know, that's why that's why I do triathlons, because I need something that's going to motivate me and I need something that's going to challenge me to get me to make me like this morning when I get up and I go run, it's dark at sight. I really don't want to go run. But it's like, no, you got to. You got to go do it. And and so I, that's why I do that. It's my reason for doing that is because, and the reason for, for me taking Plexus is because, just to be honest with you, not that I'm, I'm selling it to you, but it's because I found something that helps me it helps me be healthy. It helps helps me be healthy from the inside out. It help, and it, and and I wouldn't be saying that unless all the lab results and the X-rays and everything showed me improving um, with taking these products. And and, and that's and I just places is nothing. All it is is just a tool. It's a tool, and it's a great tool that works works extremely well. To be for me to be the healthiest that I can be, so and, and I, I'm not, and I don't do these things. I'm, I'm not exercising like crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm not watching what I eat. I'm not taking plexes to to extend my life. I mean, that's that's an extra. That's a bonus if that happens. I'm not doing it to extend my life. I'm doing it so that each day that God gives me. It can be the best that it could possibly be. That's why first thing I do, spend time with Jesus. Second thing I do, I work out. Third thing I do, I take plexus. Do it every day. Because those three things combined help me, and it can help you make each day the best that they can be. Spiritually, I get with Jesus. Physically, I'm, I'm, I'm working out to build strength and endurance in my body to handle whatever comes in comes my way that day. And, and with plexus, it, it gives my body the nutrients. It gives my body the stuff it needs to get healthy and to be healthy on the inside out. Because see, the bottom line is this body that Jesus healed, that Jesus physically touched and healed, this body, me, this is his temple. This belongs to him. This is the home of Jesus. He lives in me. So I want to take care of this. I want to make this the best house, the best house it can possibly be because Jesus lives here. So that's why I do. That's my motivation. And I just want to share that with you. And hopefully it helps somebody that's out there that may be going through something like this or facing something like this. I'm here. I want to help any way I can. So reach out. I, I, I'm available. I just want to. I, I want. I want to be a blessing to people. That's why I'm still here. Jesus has left me here to be a blessing. I want to bless you somehow, some way, whatever, how I can. I'm available for you. I love you. Take care. And. If you wake up tomorrow morning, thank Jesus because it's a gift from him. Have a great day.